the neurotransmitters of memory. How do you measure the neurotransmitters? They are measured either by microdialysis or by HPLC, high performance liquid chromatography. Microdialysis determines the neurotransmission concentration before a change in the blood concentration. Usually microdialysis is coupled with HPLC. What are the factors that affect extracellular concentration of a neurotransmitter? They are neuronal release, enzymatic metabolism, diffusion and reuptake. Despite all these disadvantages, the microdialysis techniques provides the best method for detailed description of the dynamics of a neurotransmitter. So what are the neurotransmitters of the memory are acetylcholine, dopamine, noradrenaline, glutamate and serotonin. The acetylcholine it promotes memory, attention, learning and motivation. So the mnemonic is MAL, M -A -A -L, memory, arousal, attention and learning. So what are the sites where the acetylcholine is produced? It's mainly produced in cerebral cortex, hippocampus and striatum. Release, uh, release of acetylcholine in different brain areas occur in consolidation of the long-term memory. The decline in the cognitive function in dementia is predominantly related to a decrease in cholinergic neurotransmission. The cholinergic system also plays an important role in the memory and anticholinergic agents such as atropine and scopolamine interfere with memory. Choline acetyl transferase that catalyzes the formation of acetylcholine is deficient in the cortex of patients with Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease patients have severe neuronal loss in the nucleus bacillus of Maynard, the major source of cholinergic input to the cerebral cortex. Choline stress inhibitors increase the level of acetylcholine in Alzheimer's disease. Dopamine and 5-HT, 5-hydroxytryptamine, serotonin. Do dopamine promotes motivation and pleasure, whereas serotonin pr promotes memory, learning, and promotes relaxation and promotes sleep. A deficiency in both dopamine and noradrenaline in the prefrontal cortex can induce a deficit in the working memory. So dopamine is strongly related to working memory and is strongly modulated by dopamine. Behavior and mood are modulated by noradrenergic, serotonergic and dopaminergic pathways. Some brain regions are strongly involved on in cognition such as prefrontal cortex, hippocampal formation and corpus striatum are densely innervated by serotonergic and dopaminergic pathways on neurons. Learning and memory are strongly modulated by 5-HT and dopamine. The next neurotransmitter is noradrenaline. Noradrenaline promotes attention and motivation. What are the sites of noradrenaline? Locus cerulus, amygdala and the limbic system. What are the functions of noradrenaline? Consolidation of emotional memory in the amygdala. Basolateral amygdala is a critical region to modulate the consolidation of emotional memory and that is done by T noradrenaline. It improves the cognitive processing in limbic brain. Noradrenaline is also reduced in locus cerulus in Alzheimer's disease. Deficiency in both dopamine and noradrenaline in the prefrontal cortex can induce a deficit in the working memory. The next neurotransmitter is GABA. GABA agonist including benzodiazepines cause reversible but sometimes severe episodes of amnesia. GABA 
promotes or it's anti-anxiety and anti-stress. It promotes relaxation and sleep. Next neurotransmitter is glutamate. Glutamate is the most important uh, neurotransmitter for memory, learning and motivation. What are the sites of glutamate production? The cortical area, subcortical areas, hippocampus, nervous tractus solitarius of the vagus nerve and the parabranchial nuclei with the taste. What are the functions of the glutamate? Long term memory formation, long term potentiation and learning and memory, cognitive function, it is involved in cognitive function. Cognitive impairment in schizophrenia is due to imbalance between glutamate, GABA and acetylcholine. What's the effect of glutamatergic pathways on different neurons? Cortical and hippocampal cholinergic activity and it regulates the activities of the cholinergic neurons. Impinging on the cholinergic neurons in the medial septum. So excitotoxic lesions of the nucleus bacillus induce a long-lasting significant decrease in acetylcholine release. Similarly, if it impinges on the gabagic neuron, it increases the activity of GABA. Glutamate is a precursor of GABA, which is an inhibitory neurotransmitter, whereas glutamate is an excitatory neurotransmitter. Glutamate causes a significant and long-lasting increase in amygdala noradrenergic concentrations.